Hi everyone, this is AJ, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the new series, Peacemaker, from James Gunn. So let's talk about it. Okay, so before I begin, um, just be aware that if you haven't seen the Suicide Squad film yet and you intend to watch it before this, um, this review will contain some spoilers. Um, I'm going to be reviewing episodes 1, 2 and 3 all together because they all dropped at the same time. Now this series is brought, brought to us, written by James Gunn and directed by James Gunn. Um, who obviously wrote and directed the Suicide Squad movie, which I really enjoyed. I loved it. Um, I thought it was a brilliant film. Um, one of the better films of the year. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, let's get into talking about this. So, like I said, episodes one to three, these are shown on HBO Max in the United States, and they run for about 39 to 45 minutes in length each. Um, it follows on from the events of the Suicide Squad. Obviously, as you remember, um, we left John Cena's character, Peacemaker. He had been shot um, by Idris Elba's character and the building had collapsed on him. But at the very end, in the final scenes, we did see Peacemaker um, <coughs> alive in a hospital, on a hospital bed. And two of the characters that worked for um, Davis's character had come in and... They were going to be working with him. And they sort of ended there in a tease for this forthcoming series. So um, let's have a talk about the story within the episodes. And then I'll give you my thoughts on the series. Okay, so episode one is called A Whole New World. World spelt W-H-I-R-L-E-D. Um, directed by and written by James Gunn, as I'd already said. Um, so the basic story is five months after his mission in Quarter Maltese, um, Christopher Smith, a.k.a. Peacemaker, is discharged from the hospital. Upon returning to his trailer home, Smith encounters Argus agents led by... Clemson Mern, who recruited him for a new mission dubbed Project Butterfly. Smith visits his father, Oggy, um, to retrieve the pet eagle, Eagly, and acquire a new outfit. Later, Mern gives Smith a dossier of an assassination target. He attempts to flirt with his handler, Amelia Harcourt, but is rejected. Meanwhile, Project Butterfly's new recruit, Leota Adebayo, discusses in private with her mother, Amanda Waller, about her secret task. Smith hooks up with a woman at a bar, but then discovers she has metahuman abilities as she tries to kill him. A struggle ensues, and Smith manages to kill the woman, Smith being Peacemaker. So, that's basically episode one. Episode two is called Best Friends for Never. Again, written and directed by James Gunn. Smith contacts Harcourt about the situation and is later rescued by her from Evergreen's police forces. The team manages to cover up his trails and pin the blame on Oggy, who eventually gets arrested in his place. While in prison, Oggy, who's Peacemaker's father, is held as the White Dragon. Smith attempts to inquire information about Project Butterfly from Mern to no avail. Feeling shunned by the team, a saddened Smith returns to his trailer where he is greeted by Vigilante. Vigilante attempts to cheer Smith up by inviting him to a target practice. Later, Smith learns that a device he recovered from the metahuman woman's apartment is a miniature spaceship. Yep. So, episode three, Better Goff Dead. Goff spelt G-O-F-F, -F, Better Goff Dead. Again, written by and directed by James Gunn. Um, Mern briefs Smith on his mission to assassinate United States Senator Roiland Goff, who is a suspected butterfly. Smith shows hesitance when he learns that Goff's children are potential targets. The team arrives at Goff's home, where Smith and Harcourt stake out the area. Vigilante, who secretly followed the team, joins Smith and Harcourt afterwards. Mern orders Smith to assassinate the Goff family after they display alien-like behaviours, but Smith hesitates. Vigilante takes over and successfully kills the entire family minus Goff. 
but his bodyguard, judo master, intervenes and incapacitates Smith and Vigilante. Later, Goff attempts to torture Vigilante, whose secret identity is revealed as Adrian Chase. Smith manages to free himself and kill Goff, but then discovers a butterfly-like creature emerging from his corpse. Unbeknownst to the team, several suspected butterflies have been detected around the world. Yeah, so, that's your story breakdowns for each of the three episodes. Um, now, I was a bit hesitant going into this series because, uh, obviously, in the film, The Suicide Squad, um, this character, Peacemaker, kills Rick Flagg um, and turns out to be a bit of a, a sort of... A villain of the piece, not not a villain of the film, but it's got villainous tendencies within the context of the narrative of the movie. Rick Flagg was a fantastic character, and you know, going into this, how can I have sympathy or follow a character that has killed a character that came from the first Suicide Squad film that went into the the Suicide Squad, um, only to be killed? Anyway, this film does this TV series, sorry, does a good job of of making peacemaker very likable um he obviously has has uh feelings about what he'd done towards rick flag the fact that he killed him he's he's suffering in this and this shows in episode three when he's attempting to assassinate the family it's not the fact that there's children there um because he could have taken a shot with the the parents of the children he sees to be butterflies um but he hesitates in doing so and he's shaking and all this sort of thing and and this is an impact a direct impact of of what he's he's coming to terms with the fact that he killed Rick Flagg, who was a character that he'd actually looked up to in the past and all this sort of thing. Um, so this TV series, um, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, it, it was funny. It was slickly made, slickly produced. It, it feels like you're watching a cinematic piece for the character. The effects are great. Um, the writing's good. All the characters, uh, you know, are very enjoyable. They're all, all coming into their own. They've all got um, decent characterization thus far. You know, um, highlights for the show are, are Vigilante. He, he's very funny when he comes into it. Um, but like I said, Peacemaker himself, the relationship he's got with some of the other characters, the blonde-haired ex-CIA agent who works for Amanda Waller. Um yeah it's 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 very good um there's nothing really critical i can say about it the the episodes flow um you know the pacing is good the writing's good it's, it's got fantastic soundtrack of, of music like what james gunn usually does within his films it's it's portrayed here in the same way he uses music from from various artists to prop up the story you know there there is um bad language um, there's nudity, there's all this sort of stuff in it, there's blood and gore at times. Um, and, and, and Peacemaker himself, the character, he's not portrayed to be this, this amazing hero, he's flawed, you know, he does this, this stuff, he's a fantastic shot with weapons and this sort of thing, but he's a bit of a doofus as well, but of a bumbling hero at times. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. The world that he inhabits is fantastic. You know, they're wearing these silly costumes. That, that, that It's fantastic that, that comic book stuff has embraced this sort of a costume now. You know, because when you had the first X-Men come around, it was like, we can't embrace the silliness of it. We've got to embrace, you know, we've got to make it so they look look more real-worldy. Um, thankfully, comic book programs of, of um, films have, have sort of stepped away from that and and you know marvel both marvel and dc marvel done a very good job of making it very practical um you know the look of the outfits and this sort of a thing but then when dc you know that they've done certain projects like the watchman um, uh, um some of their tv stuff as well like doom patrol and titans some of that embraces the ridiculousness of these outfits and and the suicide squad is is no different it, it embraces that ridiculousness and and the elements of humor assist with you know these characters now again the character of of peacemaker himself he's a non-pc character he's a character who's got no idea about pc culture political correctness so he will say things that that, that, that you know and and in in a sense this is a way that 
TV series can, can give you an impression that they're getting around the PC culture stuff. Even though, you know, they, they do have a, a, a cast that's full of um, characters from different racial backgrounds that people tend to moan about. Um, if you've got a character that is written in such a way that his characteristic is that he is non-PC, that he lives outside this world of political correctness, he doesn't realise what he's saying is wrong and this sort of a thing. Cobra Kai does the same thing with Johnny Lawrence um, and Peacemaker is the same. He'll say things to women that you wouldn't even dream of saying to a woman today because in the workplace you'd probably end up being fired and, and on the street you'd, you'd get slapped or get the old bill and they'd get the old bill involved and... and, and nick you um he says stuff to the little agent judo master guy that's somewhat offensive um, but it's all done in good spirit and that and like i said it's done because this is his character so you get away with it in that sense um so it's very amusing that, that you know it's very quick-witted the writing within the show um james gunn has proved this over and over again in his projects um you know in the suicide squad in guardians of the galaxy before that sliver super he's very good with writing he's very good with character he's very good with an ensemble as well um, and this program is no different so the episodes one two and three are thoroughly enjoyed um i laughed out loud at times within the program um, mainly stuff between the characters, more than visual humour, this sort of thing. It's, it's all in the writing. So a fantastic start to what will be an eight-episode series. Um, so I'm very pleased with what I saw. So anyway, so this is AJ. Thank you for watching. Um, I will be back next week, um, and I will be reviewing episode four of this series all the way through to episode eight so come and join me on this ride um let me know your thoughts on the show if you have watched the show um and yeah and just let me know in the comments down below at the same time why not hit that um subscribe button hit the notification bell support the channel um i've got a lot going on a lot of content you may be interested in go and take a look um yeah anyway thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one take care all and goodbye